So it seems all the cool kids are talking about this Squid Game lately. It is a Korean Netflix show that looks something like American Gladiators on PCP. I wasn't all that interested, but then Saturday Night Live parodied it. I thought I would take a gamble on it. Let's take a look. Everyone here will participate in six different games over six days. Every person standing here in this room is living on the brink of financial ruin. You all have debts that you can't pay off. In a world that just won't give these financially challenged folks a break, they find themselves having signed off on their own kidnapping and participation in some strange childlike games without really knowing all the diabolical details. The dangling carrot, or giant piggy bank in this case, is the possibility of winning more money than Davy Crockett if you don't get eliminated. We'll be killing everyone if we want that money. Think about it for just one second. For starters, the English audio dub is borderline awful, and the first episode didn't really hook me. But the nine episodes do get better and better, with more character development and storylines. And eventually, I got used to the weird English audio dub. The show is a smorgasbord of physical and psychological torture that is expressed through extremely graphic scenes, mostly head wounds from gunshots and the ill effects gravity can have on the human body from certain heights. So it's not for everyone. It really is a lot, for serious. A man just died! We shouldn't be killing each other like this! And though gruesome for sure, at other times, cinematically beautiful and artsy and just fun to look at with every shot handled with care. And again, beyond the systematic human slaughter for human entertainment, the story also examines the relationships between the participants and their intense inner struggles in a way that draws you in more and more, making the life and death decisions they make hit home all the more. I'll make sure that you win. What will you do? Whatever it takes. The series was slow at times, perhaps to give the audience time to bounce back from the violence for a hot minute, but always entertaining, unique, and fun to watch, depending on your definition of fun, of course. So, if you liked Truman Show, but thought to yourself, man, this could use more games, gambling, and gore, then Squid Game might be for you. I do not think it lives up to the hype. I wasn't completely blown away, but it's certainly worth a watch, if you have a strong stomach. I thought Squid Game was pretty good. Chris Jenkins, CBS 6.